the fallen leaves tell a story. The great Elden Ring was shattered. Queen Marika the Eternal is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, Claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Horalu, chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant Gold Mask, fear the deathbed companion. The loathsome dung eater. And Sir Gideon Othmere. The all knowing. And one other whom grace would again bless. A tarnished of no renown. Cross the fog to the lands between. To stand before the Elden Ring. and become the Elden Lord. All right, hello everybody, my name is J.S. Matthews, and welcome to Elden Ring. Man, things are looking pretty good. I'm really excited for this game. Pretty much just came out from From Software, makers of Dark Souls. Now, I've played a little bit of this game, not a ton, only about 30 minutes maybe. And uh, here we go, got what we needed. Let's go ahead and continue on here. First of all, can we just acknowledge how beautiful this game is? Holy cow. Like that armor and everything, oh man. If there's one thing From Software does really well in every single game, it is the armor. Oh my gosh, look at this game. <clears throat> Holy cow. All right, let's get going here. Now, like I said, I've played the first about maybe 25 minutes so far of this game. Just kind of fiddling with settings and stuff. So I do kind of know what's coming up here. We'll have to see what I do. First time I went against, there's a boss right up here. 
kind of got my butt kicked, so we'll see how I do this time. <laughs> I think we're supposed to lose this battle anyways, but let's go ahead and try it out. Man, look at this. All right, let's do it. Let's see what we can do. You know, come to think of it, I wonder if I do this. I wonder if we shoot him a little bit. Let's try this this time. Uh-oh. Oh, we gotta move. <laughs> oh, jeez. Whoa! Almost got me. Try to stay close here. Let's see how we can do this. Oh, jeez. Alright, well, that was, that was... Oh, gosh. Move. Oh, man. This is... Yeah, this is gonna be a little tougher... Oh jeez, oh gosh. Good dodge. Oh gosh. Good move. Oh man, yeah, I'm gonna die here. Oh man, I missed. Oh gosh. Dodge again. Oh. Oh, we got it. Nope, they got us. <laughs> Pretty poor showing there. Now, I will try to make sure that I'm very quiet for the cutscenes because I'd like to let you guys to hear what they're saying. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on his side. We found him here, after all. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. even if it does violate the Golden Order. All right, let's get going here. Now there is a tutorial area up here. Not the hardest thing. We also got our Flask of Crimson Tears, which is healing, and Flask of Cerulean Tears, which is our magic or our kind of like special stamina bar. Let's go ahead and talk to this ghost here. Now he doesn't have a voice, so I'll just read it for you guys. Brave Tarnish, take the plunge of learning and remembrance. Recall the arts of war and your warrior's blood. All right, let's do it. We're gonna drop down here. This is a pretty easy area, but it's good because it'll give us a little bit of a, little bit of a warm up. Number one, I haven't played Dark Souls in a very long time, so we'll see how I do here. But let's go ahead and run straight up to this. Sites of Grace, these are pretty cool. They serve as fast travel points and his bonfires. So if we rest at this thing, just like we would at a bonfire, good to go past time, mess with our flasks, memorize spells, all sorts of stuff. I'm just gonna leave them how they are right now. But we're gonna go up here. Now this is probably the best addition I think so far is this right here. <laughs> Look at this, being able to sneak around and just backstab the crap out of that guy. <laughs> Heck yeah. I'm going to two-hand this katana. I am terrible when it comes to uh, parrying, so I'm not even going to mess with that right now. 
<laughs> We're just gonna take these guys out one by one. Oh, come on, I don't even need this. <laughs> yeah, this two-handed... Yeah, this thing's, this thing's pretty awesome. There we go. Man, look how beautiful this game is. Oh, yep, that guy up there. I forgot, we're going to shoot him in his face right here. You ready? So I got to get a little more used to the controls. I'm definitely still used to Dark Souls. Oh. There we go. Oh, didn't get him off. Okay. There we go. <laughs> nice little headshot there. Oh, that was sweet. All right, all right. So if I hold Y and LB, yep, there we go. Go back to wielding that, and if I hold Y and RB, it'll two-hand my katana. Which is pretty sweet. Now, I think if I charge up RT, I should be able to get this guy. Yeah, see, you can break through their guards. Nice. I always hated these guys in the Dark Souls game. So they just sit there with their shields up. Not as bad in this one. Yeah, these guys are pretty easy. This is definitely the tutorial area. Dory gets plenty hard. <laughs> Alright, firing our arrows. Yeah, we already know how to do that. We don't care about that. That's fine. Let's just run across here. Yeah, whatever. Okay, LT to do the skill. I'm going to save that for this boss up here. Because we do have a little mini boss. He's pretty easy. Definitely not too hard. But he gives us a couple, I think they're called runes, not souls. Yeah, just one slash still. There's another uh, guy. Let's go ahead and creep around. We're going to take this guy out. <laughs> Look at this. I love that stealth in a Dark Souls game. That almost made me want to be the bandit class. We'll have to try that again. That's the one thing I'm really looking forward to in this game is trying out all the different classes. All right, let's head on through here. We are going to have to take on a boss here. All right, so hold RT to charge an attack. Yep, we already know that. Nice. <laughs> a little more health there. All right, and these are stakes of Marika. So upon dying, we can actually spawn here instead of way back at that uh, point of grace. Or point, point, what is it? Point? Uh, I don't know. Pretty sure point of grace is like a band or something. I don't know. It sounds like it, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, let's take this guy on. Yeah, yeah, I already know. Yeah, see, this this isn't even a boss. This is easy. Oh, easy. Don't get too cocky. Yeah, don't get cocky. That that is the easiest part. Um, the rest of it gets significantly harder. <laughs> All right, let's keep going here. So here we are right up here at the top. Let's grab this last little thing here, which I think this is a... What is this? Ah, yeah. There we go. It's a little emote. All right, let's drop down. He has nothing else to say, so we're going to start moving on here. We're going to open these doors and head on up. You're seeing I'm going to be getting some frame drops here. It's not my computer. It's just the new patch they put out. But that's okay. Game still runs pretty well. Every once in a while you get a little freeze up there, but I haven't seen it in the middle of combat yet. Right, let's go ahead and rest here. Nice. We got that all set up. And let's see what we got here. Cooperative multiplayer. So this is the severed finger. Ah, oh, there we go. Tarnished curled finger. Yeah. So interacting with uh, other players. Pretty sweet. There's nothing else in here, so let's go ahead and head on up. And this right here, first time I was fiddling around with this, I should have recorded it, but man, this is just, this is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in, in a video game before, right here. Man, just look at that. Oh, man. Yeah, that is, that is hands down one of the most gorgeous looking things in a video game look at that man 
All right, let's touch this little spot here. There we go. And then we're going to talk to this guy. And again, I'll try to make sure I'm quiet when talking to the uh, NPCs and stuff. So we also have access to a map. We'll take a look at that in a second. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. That guy down there, by the way, we want to avoid. Yeah, we, we don't want to go near him just yet. Oh, yes. Tarnished, are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Now with any from software game, you can keep talking to the uh, people even when they stop. Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless, me, Vare. Take care to listen. Are you familiar with grace? The golden light that gives life to you tarnished. You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace, the path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm, indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. Grace's guidance will reveal the path forward, most certainly, to Castle Stormvale, over on the cliff, the home of the decrepit demigod, Godric the Grafted. It's time you set off, I should think, to Castle Stormvale on the cliff, where Grace would guide you. If you seek the Elden Ring, maidenless as you are. All right, let's start exploring. Now, I do kind of want to start off by going this way. But let's take a look around real quick, just because I want to show off how just absolutely beautiful this game is. There's some little things over here we can grab. There we go. So there's actually a crafting system in this as well, which is just pretty awesome what a great addition I don't think these will attack me I haven't really spent any time next to them but just look at that view though oh my gosh yeah man this game is going to be something special I can already tell all right, let's get going here. Now, I do want to head straight over to those ruins directly in front of me because there's another NPC over there. We'll go talk to him real quick. He doesn't have as much dialogue, but let's go ahead and head down. The other thing I got to remember, I actually have a jump button now, which is pretty sweet. And there's some other things we can pick up as well, just around this way. We got some, I think these are like ruin pieces or something. Yeah, ruin fragments. That's it. So one here, one up here. And this is almost the extent of my knowledge of this game. <laughs> yeah, if you came here to watch something, you're going to get a tutorial. Yeah, nah, this is this is just a straight up let's play. I haven't played really any of this at all. So whatever I'm experiencing for the first time, so are you. Should be pretty fun. Let's go ahead and head in here. And there is one of these. Let's go ahead and activate that. And I'm going to rest at this one just so we can come back here anytime we need to. We'll respawn here now. And let's go ahead and talk to this guy. I'm standing in the fire. Probably not the best place to talk to somebody, huh? You are a tarnished. I can see it. And I can also see that you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase a little something? I am Carly. Purveyor of fine goods. I am of a nomadic people. 
selling wares as I travel. The land has been tainted by madness since the shattering of the Elden Ring. It's only tarnished like yourself, who keep things from drying up entirely. Let's say you're a very welcome customer. Awesome. So I don't think I have much to sell here. Yeah, all I have is the uh, ruined fragments, which can be used for crafting. Now, I could purchase some stuff. I am tempted to purchase the crafting kit. But I'm also tempted to grab the Flask of Wondrous... What is that? Physic? Physic? Yeah, I don't know what that does. Could be pretty cool, though. I'm not really sure, but I think I'm going to grab the crafting kit because this will allow me to craft items, I believe. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll hang on to our our runes for right now. Just kind of see what we can do. Let's go ahead and move on. So we're going to head this way, and the only other place I've been is right up over this hillside here. So we're going to head up this way and check it out. I think that's just a skull. Yep. <laughs> Skulls just laying around. Something I can pick up? Nope, this one is, though. Here we go, Erdly Flower. So we'll keep collecting these things as we go. They're going to probably come in handy. There's a uh, interesting little statue here. Not sure what this is. Guide and gatekeeper for those returning to the roots. Interesting. Okay. All right, so we definitely don't want to go that way because of the uh, dude on the horseback. Also, it looks like there's something in that pond over there. Those uh, just rocks? I can't tell. But anyways, we're going to head this way. And I just cannot get over how beautiful this game is. This really makes me think of uh, a Legend of Zelda game. That's really what it makes me think of. And that's probably the best compliment I can give this thing. Oh, what is this? Read message. Oh, why is it always material? <laughs> so there's a couple enemies here. Let's take these guys out. Let's see if we can sneak up on this guy and get a backstab on him. Ready? Boom. <laughs> Man, that effect is so sweet. And I don't think... Are they going to attack me? Nah, he's just scared of me. I'll leave him alone. We're going to take this guy out, though. I wonder if I can run and do the R2 attack. Oh, I missed. <laughs> That's a bummer. I can't believe I missed that one. I haven't really played much with this weapon yet. That's definitely one of the fun parts of... Uh, any Dark Souls game or from software game is getting used to all the weapons and stuff. And I think there's a little cave right down in here. Yes, there is. Let's go ahead and do this one. We're going to head inside. Now, this is the last thing I did. So from here on out, this is pretty much all I know. So Stormfoot Catacombs. Let's see what's in here. Another little ghost down here. Let's talk to him. A proper death means returning to the Erd Tree. Have patience until the time comes and the roots call to you. Interesting. All right, now there is a little bad guy right there. Let me see if I can get him with my uh, with my bow. There we go, got the first hit on him. Oops. Oh, oops. Oh, I forgot he's throwing stuff. Shoot. Oops. Oh, come on, hit him. Really? There we go. Come on, throw another one. There you go. One more. There we go. And there's another one on the left, but we're going to get him with our sword this time. Yep, there he is. Oh, go. Wow. Okay. He got me a lot faster that time. Holy cow. Whew. What do we got here? 
root resin. I think that is another crafting thing. So those little guys do blood damage, or bleeding damage. We gotta watch out for them. There's no one in this room. A grave glow wart. Interesting. Okay. All right. Summoning pools. In each area, you'll find effigies of martyrs. These effigies are summoning pools. You'll find it easy to summon other players at these locations. Interesting. Very cool. All right. So let's get back our let's get our bow out again. Cause there's a little guy right there. Let's take him out. Ah, oh, missed. Dang. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Whoop. Ow, jeez. I gotta remember to hit these guys a little quicker. <laughs> Alright, well, we're gonna have to do our first drink here. That's okay. Oh, I forgot to add my golden seed. That was one of the things I took at the beginning. You could kind of uh, take a special... There we go. Oh. Oh, am I out of arrows? Shoot. Whoops. Alright, let's see if maybe we can uh, finish him off. There's another guy in here too, isn't there? Pretty sure there's another one. Dang, too bad I'm, uh, well, I have some fire arrows. Not sure I want to use those yet. Let's see. How do I switch there? Huh, how do I switch arrows? It's all right, I'll figure it out. Let's go ahead and just switch to our sword again. Thought there's another guy in here. He's not throwing anything at me. That's kind of interesting. Yep. So I think there's another one. Oh, whoa. Almost got me that time. Where's the other guy? I thought there were two in here. Eh, maybe not. Whoa. See above me? Yep, there we go. Finished him off, okay. That wasn't too bad. Too bad I'm out of arrows, though. Man, I wasted way too many, I think. On that first guy. <laughs> it's alright, I can buy some more. Now, there is a guy, if I remember, right through this door, and I think he's above us. Where is he? Yep, there he is. Look at that little piece of crap right there. Come on down here, pal. Come on. No, you don't. Oh, there we go. Whew, got him. All right. Now we're going to have to run through here. Holy cow. Run, 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 run. Around the corner. Good. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Dang, that was scary. Okay. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm not going to go that time. Let's wait until this time. There we go. Run, 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 run. There we go. Now, I could go into that area, but I think there's a couple of those guys in there. I don't know how I'm going to do against two or three of them. I have climbed up here, though. Let's go up here. Maybe we'll head back in there later. Yeah, wow. After j just playing a little bit of this game, I'll tell you what. If you like Dark Souls, you are going to love this game. Nice, okay. Let's get this guy then. Oh, really? I missed? That's frustrating. <laughs> Wish I had some wider swings with this sword. Okay, now we can go down there. Um, there's a lever, but let's go this way. There's something in here. And there's a little guy. 
There he is. Yeah, he's right there. But there's another guy right there. Yep. I want to take him out first, though. Come on. There we go. Now we can take out the other guy. Give it a sec. Let our stamina recharge. Charge him. There we go. Not too bad. We're doing okay. Let's see what we got in here. Summoning spirits. When spirit calling, or sorry, with the spirit calling bell, you can use ashes to summon various spirits. Summoning typically consumes FP. You can only summon one type of spirit at a time. You cannot summon spirits during multiplayer. Interesting. So that's kind of like a multiplayer way to do single player. <laughs> it's kind of cool. What's this right here? Do you drop something? A smithing stone. Oh, that is awesome awesome I need two of those that I can upgrade my uh, katana do these have uh, I want to look at actually hang on there's a guy in this corner here let's take him out first there we go <laughs> gotcha um, let's take a look at something real quick I want to look at my equipment so it's equipment you can equip armaments arrows bolts armor talismans and items Okay, do these have... I don't think they have durability anymore. Like in Dark Souls, do they? Oh no, HP. 297 out of 455. Or is that just my HP? <laughs> oh no, that's my HP. That's not the weapon. Interesting. Okay. Let's go ahead and... I'm going to have to buy some more regular arrows eventually. We'll just leave those where they are. Let's pull that lever. I keep seeing those little uh, things going around. <laughs> I'm like, who are they? It's just the uh, the ghosts, of other players. All right, so we're on to our first boss, if I'm correct. But I might go use that point real quick and kind of restore ourselves before we head in there. It'd be nice to have full health. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's rest here. Okay, so first thing I want to do is flasks, and I want to add a charge to flasks. So use one golden seed to increase your number of flax uses. Yes, I do. So I did that. So I got a golden seed, and I don't think... Oh, do I have another one? How many of these do I have? Let's see. Um, equipment. Or not equipment. Let's go to inventory. Good clothes. What is this right here? Nope. I thought I had... Do I have another one? Maybe I don't. Okay. Let's just finish resting and I'm going to make sure that I have enough of these flasks here. Oh, not enough golden seeds. Okay, so I did use the one. So let's go allocate flask charges. So we can do more of the FP ones and less of the health or more of the health and less of the FP. Let's go ahead and just do that. And I kind of like that, the four in one. And then let's go ahead and leave. And now we're going to make our way down, which I think, do those guys come back? They do. Interesting. Huh. I'm just kind of curious that because I think they dropped those smithing shards. It'd be kind of fun to farm those guys. See if we can get another one. But before we do that... Let's go ahead and head in here. I think this is where the boss is, but yes, it is. So we're going to fight our first boss here. Hopefully I don't completely embarrass myself. Let's go ahead and try this out. We're going to be using the uh, just the katana two-handed. Let's see how this goes. All right, come on, Mr. Cat. Let's do this. There we go. Oh gosh, fire. Fire, run. Dodge, there we go. Oh, dang it, that's a fast one. Man, can I? Oh, I hate when you get stuck like that, where you dodge, get hit, dodge, get hit. Well, that was a terrible showing. That's okay, we'll, we'll spawn right nearby, we'll try this again. 
We got this. That was that was very poor. First time I fought him, uh, almost beat him and then died. So we'll be fine though. All right, let's head back down here. Let's try to get our uh, runes back. Basically, souls, right? So we're gonna grab those and then we're gonna take this guy on again. Try him out one more time. We'll see if we can take him out. Fire, back up. Now I think he's gonna try to do that stab again. No, holding close. Yeah, that one, that's the one I gotta watch out for. Oops, he's gonna swing around. Oh, got me. Oh my gosh, I can't even get up. Come on. Let's go ahead and drink here. I gotta get those swings down. There's the fire again, stay back. There we go, got it down that time. Move back, move back, dodge again. Okay, we're good. Oh man. Oh, I don't know that one. Oh, fire. I gotta hit him again with that one before I get back out. Come on. Nope, move, dodge it, dodge it, dodge it. Oh, we got him, we're gonna get him, we're gonna get him. There we go. Haha, <laughs> second try. Nice. Noble Sorcerer Ashes. Interesting. Very cool. Okay. Behold, I did it. Yes, yes, I did. All right, let's see what we got back in here. Oh, that's just return to entrance. No. I'm going to see if there's anything else in here. No loot. No weapons. Nothing. Okay. Now, I know the ashes are useful for a bunch of different things. So we'll have to look into that. But for right now, maybe we'll just head back out. That's fine with me. I do kind of want to kill those little gargoyles again and see if we can get some more of those ashes. But I'll probably do that off camera, just do a little farming. Anyways, I think this is going to be the end of this episode. I hope you guys are really enjoying Elden Ring. This game is absolutely incredible. Just came out. And I'm excited to continue to play this. This has been a blast so far. Let's go ahead and rest at this. And we'll go ahead and call this uh, first episode done with. If you guys enjoyed this one, definitely leave a like. Maybe even subscribe. Let me know what else you want to see. I'm going to keep trying out this Samurai here. I really like this class. Looks pretty good. Also, I named him Samurai Jack, which makes it even better. If you guys did enjoy this, again, I'd appreciate the like. Maybe even subscribe. And uh, if you ever want to support me on my channel, check out my books. I always put them in the description. Links to them on Amazon. And uh, go ahead and check out my other videos. I do a bunch of them, and uh, I'll be trying to get some more of this Elden Ring up. Anyways, hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks for checking my videos. I will see you in the next one, and I hope you all take care now.